Let's pack my bag. My name is Sab, and if you don't know already, I am a second year medical student in Canada. And like most students, I carry a backpack. I know that a lot of my viewers are also in school and a lot of you guys are either aspiring or current med students. So I thought that this would be a great opportunity for me to show you all the essentials that I carry in my bag. I feel like over the years and years that I've been in school, I've been slowly refining the contents of my backpack. And now that I'm pretty happy with what I have in here, I thought I would share it with you guys as well. So without further ado, here is what is in my backpack. We're keeping things very casual for today's video. No script, no preparations, just you and me on my bed talking about what's in this backpack. So let's go ahead. So let's start off by talking about the backpack itself. This is the Lululemon New Crew backpack. I think this is the 22 liter one, obviously in the color black. And I feel like it's pretty good at holding everything I need. As you can see here, I have this little Miffy keychain that I made. Just, you know, give it a little bit of character, spice it up a little bit. It also has my name with these little beads. I'm like a kindergartner. And it has three main compartments. It has the outside zipper, it has this middle part, and it has this laptop sleeve in the back. And it also has two little holders for your water bottles or your umbrellas. So let's start off by talking about what's on the side pocket of my bag and this is my Yeti mug, my Yeti tumbler. I'm gonna put links to all of the items that I talk about in the description down below, but this is their massive Yeti tumbler. It has really good insulating abilities. Like I will put ice cubes in this at 9 a.m. and by 9 p.m. the same ice cubes will still be there. And this just goes in the side pocket of my bag. The thing with the Lululemon bag that I don't love is that it doesn't have the stretchy side pockets, but it does have this little strap to hold it in place. So I just slide that over there. I drink a lot of water, so it's important that I have a really big water bottle. So let's talk about the front pocket and see what's in here. I really mainly keep two things in here. The first one are my trusty AirPods. I have this with me all the time, but it's very dirty, so we won't look inside of it. And then I also have my lanyard, and I'm going to try and make sure I don't reveal any personal information here, but I have this one lanyard that holds literally everything. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this because if I lose this, I lose literally everything, but I have this very cute, my Melody wristlet, and it holds, you know, my car keys, my house keys. It also holds my hospital badge. So this is my, my hospital badge, which I use to get in and out of the hospital. And I also really recommend getting this kind of card holder that attaches to a lanyard because I have my student ID, my driver's license, and all my important identification all in one place. So whenever I leave the house, this is the main thing that I make sure that I don't forget. All of my keys, all of my cards, all in one place. So I have that and my AirPods in the front pocket of my bag. Next, moving on into the main pocket. You can see here that there is this pocket that's in the front flap and these two pockets that are attached kind of towards the back side. I don't really keep many things in here, but I always make sure that I have a stack of masks wherever I go because if I need to enter the hospital or if we have a standardized patient one day in class, I like to have masks always on the ready. And inside the bag, let's talk about what's in there. So in our main pocket, let's start off by talking about this guy over here. <laughs> And this is just a hard shell case that I use to hold all of my chargers. This has come in clutch so many times. If I'm in lecture and my iPad dies, if I'm in a cafe and my laptop dies, I always wanna make sure that I have chargers on hand, especially if I'm studying for a long period of time. So I decorated it with all these little stickers just to identify that it's mine. And if we open it up, you can see that we have this little elastic band that holds all the wires and this little mesh pocket that holds all of the adapters. So in here, you'll see that I have my iPad slash laptop charger as well as my iPhone charger. And I also have little cable bites that are on the end of all of my wires just to protect them from fraying or getting messed up. So this always comes with me wherever I go. And this has come in handy so many times. Let's close that up, put that back in. This next one in here is a little bit more med specific, but it's something that I carry with me. And this is my stethoscope case. It's also a hard shell to make sure I'm protecting all of the contents in it. And if we open it up, you'll see that it has two main compartments. It has this mesh pocket that holds my actual stethoscope. It has 
this pocket and as well as a pen holder to hold all of the different pens and the notebook that I like to carry. Let's start off by talking about the pens. So I have a whiteboard marker because you'll be surprised the number of times that I need to write something on a whiteboard and we don't have a marker so I keep that with me all the time. I also have a highlighter and a pen over here as well. I know some people are big pen geeks so I want to make sure that I include all of the details about what everything is. This is the Uniball Jetstream and I also have a blue mild liner highlighter. My notebook. This thing is so cute. It's teeny tiny and I always recommend having a tiny pocket notebook wherever you go. This is especially helpful when I'm in the family med clinic for example and a patient is telling me all of their complaints and if I can't remember it in my head I like to always have this with me. I'm gonna make sure that I remove any personal information here but you can see that I do use it quite a bit and every time I'm talking to a patient or their families and there's information that I want to make sure that I don't forget before I present it to the doctor, I write it down in my teeny tiny notebook. And it's really fun to look back at all of the things that I write. For example, I had a patient that came in complaining of shoulder pain and I was trying to remember all of the shoulder exams. So I quickly ran into the corner, checked my phone and referred to my notes. And I tried to draw <laughs> all of the shoulder exams so I could remember to do it in front of the doctor. Also, not only is it good for you know writing what patients say, sometimes if my doctor is reviewing a case with me, I wanna make sure that I'm able to write down any notes. So we were talking about dermatomes here in the leg and this is really just handy to collect all of the information that I can't fit in my brain. So a little pocket notebook. And finally, probably the funnest part of this, what's in my bag is my stethoscope, which I keep wrapped up over here. So this is the Cardio Litman 3. It's in green, of course, my favorite color, and it is engraved with my name. I wonder if I could show that to you guys. Can you see that? You probably won't be able to see that. Oh, maybe right there. It has my name, just to make sure that I don't mix up my stethoscope with anybody else. So if I'm ever in the clinic or I'm in class and we're learning anything that requires a stethoscope, I always have this with me. Now I protect it in this hard shell case because this was not cheap. And I thought that the faculty was going to pay for this, but no, it came out of our own pocket. So this is my stethoscope, which I carry in my bag. And the final thing that's in this compartment is my emergency bag. And this is truly a lifesaver. This is also another Lululemon pouch and it doesn't look that big, but it can hold a deceptively large amount of items. Let me show you what I have in here. So any possible situation that I can find myself in, I like to be prepared with all of the things that are in this pouch. So let's go through what's in it. So it's it's quite packed to the brim. So let's start off with any menstrual products. So I wanna make sure that I have pads, tampons, panty liners, and I have a lot of them because my friends ask for them if they forget anything. If I'm, you know, I randomly get my period in the middle of the day, I always like to be prepared. So I have a large stack of that in this bag. I also have this little pack of sterile or wet wipes, just in case I need to clean a surface, clean my hands, I like to be prepared. I have this, which contains a bunch of Kleenex wipes in case I have to blow my nose or if my nose bleeds, which happens very often. I have extra strength ibuprofen, whether it be period cramps, whether I have a headache, I like to always have this wherever I go. To make sure that I don't smell bad, which is honestly one of my biggest fears ever, I have a mini deodorant spray. And I also have this roll-on Nest perfume. I also have this Aveeno mineral sunscreen stick, just in case I want to reapply my sunscreen throughout the day. Guys, please wear your sunscreen. We don't want to get skin cancer. I'm filming. Hey, uh, the end of the pro program. I also always have a mini hand sanitizer on the ready. And then I also have this little pocket inside my essentials bag. And that holds extra contacts in case I need it for any reason. A Peppa Pig band-aid and some hair ties. So I think that that covers most of the situations that I might find myself in. There have been so many times where I forgot my glasses and I needed to go into the clinic or I got my period in the middle of the day or I went to the gym and I smelled bad so I needed deodorant. I think that if you get anything from this backpack tour, it's to have an essentials pack. And that was our main compartment. And now we're gonna talk about what's in my laptop sleeve. So we opened this up like this and you can see, can you see? what we have in here. So let's start off by talking about what, what we're gonna pull out here. My notebook. As you can see, I cover absolutely everything in stickers and this will be a common theme. I'm just, I'm going through a phase. Guys, let, let me go through my phase. Sometimes if I'm going through specific concepts and I'm tired of repeating things in my head, it's nice to have a notebook to write things down. So I like to carry this with me, especially you know if I'm going out to study. And you can see that I have some notes that I write here. 
The next thing I have in here, you guys are probably very familiar by now, is my iPad. Which, if you haven't seen my iPad tour, you can see it somewhere up here. And I personally take notes on my iPad, so obviously this has to come with me wherever I go. I have my iPad, my Apple Pencil. I don't need to repeat what I use my iPad for, but especially in terms of school, it's what I use for taking my notes while I'm in lecture. And finally, let's talk about my MacBook. So, you can see here that I have this Bagu laptop sleeve to protect my MacBook. And if we open it up, we have my MacBook, which is also <laughs> covered in stickers. If you were in a clinic and you saw a medical student and this was their laptop, would you be sussed out? Please be honest in the comments. I don't think it's the most professional, but it's so cute. But this is my MacBook and this is the powerhouse of everything. If I'm not taking notes on my iPad, then I'm going to be doing it on my laptop. I use it for my Anki, answering emails, just Googling things in general, and what I edit all of the videos that you are watching on. I'm going to be doing a MacBook kind of customization tour in the future, so look out for that. If I were to bring only one thing in my backpack, it would obviously be my laptop. This is everything to me. So that was everything that was in my backpack. I know it wasn't anything groundbreaking or revolutionary, but I thought it would be nice to kind of share all of the essentials that I have in my bag and more importantly, I would love to hear what you guys have in your backpack that you can't live without and maybe I'll go ahead and take inspiration from that as well. Once again, I'm going to link everything that I can in the description below if you wanted to get some of the things that I have in my bag. And if you have any questions, concerns, any future video requests, please make sure to drop them in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.